Jesus, say hi. Say hi. Mocha. Mocha. <laughs> She's camera shy. <laughs> Mocha. Hi everyone, Anita here and welcome to another art chat. So today we're actually going to take a little tour around my, uh, well, workspace very much um, because I don't, well, it is my room technically, but I don't call it really an art room, like a studio, okay, but it's more like an, just my space because this is technically our guest room. So I'm actually standing at the door right now and this is what you see when you come in, it's just, you know, just a workspace <laughs> and um, I've recently redecorated it some kind of re like moved it I moved stuff in my art room a lot and I thought this was actually a good opportunity to um, record it because it changes so much that it will be interesting to see next time I um, I change it how 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 it changed basically and so um, I've actually waited we are <laughs> we are in between streams today. It's Saturday. I have a Saturday special stream, and we are just after finished with one stream. And um, I've decided to record just now because you can see exactly how my space looks like while I work, and I think that's more important than just showing a perfect, perfectly clean space. It always makes me feel bad when I watch um, videos like that because I feel so messy. Um, and this is actually how I, this is the messiest I try to allow my place to be. So I clean quite often because dust is bad. <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing you see when you go into the room is of course the desk. Um, but if you look on this side here, of course I have those, those big umbrellas over here, which give me the light. But here I have a little display uh, shelving thing, a unit kind of, it's not really finished, but I have a few things that inspire me, like some prints, some little uh, art books, um, my work that I really like, um, work that I've received from, um, from a friend, <laughs> and, um, and some picture books, and basically something that I will still have to work on. There's also this little space here that uh, just stores some random, random stuff. And then I have this IKEA unit that recently it was um, laying uh, over here under the shelves. It was just laying horizontally, but I put it up because I realized that while I work, I need everything on hand. And um, just because I have those extra few bits like on the shelves, it's much easier to access them instead of just looking everywhere and putting stuff on the floor. Uh, so when we move here <laughs> on the side, on the opposite side, I have a little just a thingy where I store some extra bits and pieces and some paintings that I finished. There's absolutely nothing interesting in there because this is just some extra stuff like acrylic paint. I don't use that much. I try to put as little, I have, I actually try to have as little um, art supplies as possible. Um, just because I really go for that minimalistic look. As you can see, there is plenty of stuff as it is. And uh, if I had even more, I would. Uh, I would just go nuts. <laughs> so every single time I clean the room, I'm trying to downsize what I already have and kind of try to find different solutions to keep it as nice and clean and open as possible. So this is literally the view I have from my desk at the moment. As you can see, this is where I work. There is my camera set up for streaming. I have the monitor on my left and some lights on both sides. And yeah, <laughs> this is the mess I create while painting. So there's my microphone uh, on the left as well and uh, all the little bits and bobs that I use. When we come a little closer, here are my watercolors and my heat gun that's connected to the power supply box that's behind the monitor. Uh, I've moved my desk a little bit to the front and put this table behind because I was running out of space to put all the things I needed and I wanted some inspirational pieces. So as you can see over here, I have like a little terrarium that I've set up and I also have succulents. Succulents? You know, those little tiny plants. They're super cute and apparently they don't die that fast. 
I'm looking forward to that. Um, there are my Copics in a little jar. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to move the space a little bit because I started collecting things around in jars that I use a lot during streaming and painting. And um, it was much easier to actually have them standing near me. So I have one jar for the Copics, then I have a jar for paintbrushes and for colored pencils. And as you can see, it is really messy. I have containers with water over here, my droppers, all the pencils that I've used while um, streaming. And on this side, this is the shelving unit. As you can see, it's really nice and handy to have. Uh, I have some decorations on top. Then I go a little bit lower. There are things that I use a little bit less, which means that on this side over here, <laughs> we have uh, my starting collection of art books and other inspirational books that I just try to purchase once in a while, and also my drawing box. Uh, on the closer unit, there are things that I use more often. So there is this thing over here is my, maybe this is easier. Uh, this is my um, light box. Then here is my notebook for just notes during streams and stuff, and my sketchbooks, my project book, my other sketchbook. And then lower over here is my actual portfolio with all the all the pieces, um, all the finished pieces that I still have, and um, my color mixing chart, and also my extra box with extra supplies that I don't use often, but I still use often enough that I need it close to me. And because it's so heavy, I actually put it in the closer contained closer cubicle thingy. Um, because the things here, even though I use them more often, they're easier to move closer to me. That's why they're in the further container. I also have this shelving unit over here. So this is just basically for things I use just quite a lot, um, or maybe not so much. And so over here, I have um, just some tape, some extra spare watercolors masking fluid. In this one, I actually have all the washi tape uh, from my scrapbooking days that I actually use for uh, packaging orders. Um, over here, this is actually my... I had to put the light the other way, so we actually have some view. Um, this is actually where I keep my camera, so this, are, this is the um, card reader that I use for um, moving the files onto the computer and the camera charger. And this one over here, I have all the extra pens, scissors, uh, I think this is black gouache. Yep, just oddities. <laughs> There's my exacto knife for soft pastels. Things that, you know, I don't necessarily use all the time, but they need to be close. And there is the charger for, uh, not the charger, just the power cord, uh, for the um, light box and some extra headphones. And in this one, oh, there's my passport, medicine, all other things that just need a place to be. <laughs> so over here is my kind of like an inspirational shelf, I suppose. Um, there are some boxes and this awesome plushie that is actually from the same story, uh, storybook that I bought recently at Ikea. So they were selling this little guy as well. And there is uh, just some plushies, some figurines, pictures, and the lamp. And then over here where that panda is sitting, this is actually my little printer and uh, my cell phone and other stuff that were taken out during the stream. And then over here is my little like drawing, drawer unit thingy. Uh, I got it secondhand, it already looked like that, it was nicely altered and it's really old, but looks amazing. So I use it mostly for storing um, things that I draw with. So I have those droplet, droplet bottles, these, some sketches. This is where usually I hide my watercolor set while I'm not painting and my palettes as well. So there's also my pastels and masking tape. So this is basically my everyday drawer, <laughs> things that I use pretty much the most. Okay, so the second drawer consists of basically my digital stuff. Like I have a tablet here and uh, cords. Uh, yeah, another set of headphones. I think there's also the, yeah, other stuff. <laughs> and um, here are my business cards. And uh, that's basically it. Um, the third drawer. 
these are basically miscellaneous things. So I have here a strips for um, some paper stars that I will be making soon. Um, and as you can see, a lot of a lot of things that yeah, that are just really really random. Um, the random drawer, and this is my paper drawer. So this is just a printer paper, regular one. Now right behind me, straight to the little cabinet with random things, uh, there is our filing cabinet, so I'm not going to show that at all. Um, and here is some more inspiration stuff, so I have a few figurines, and a dinosaur, and ask, and, uh, and another plushie from Ikea, and my cat. Cat! Oh, she's really camera shy, guys, seriously. <laughs> and then, oh, let me fix this, okay. Okay, so behind me on like an angle, so basically next to this display, there is just a cabinet with books and some old sketchbooks and some other files. I'm not gonna open it because <laughs> I'm not going to open it because um, down there there's just a complete mess of just stuff. But up here I have a few mangas. I don't really own that many, just because the titles are really like are um, the long series. So yeah, who has you know money and space for that? Uh, I also have this um, series. It's an actually and from. A Swedish writer, but it's a Polish version of it, and like as you can see, it's a very long series. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. And um, for those of you who know it, it's called basically, um, yeah, it's a story of ice people, I suppose. <laughs> um, it's called Saga o Ludziach Lodu in Polish, and I think it's is Um So basically, ice people in uh, in Swedish. I am not going to embarrass myself here, so moving on. <laughs> a bit of a glare here, but we have just, there's absolutely nothing there. There's some sketchbooks and big glare from that umbrella light. And then I have a few things like extra paper and sketchbooks and um, stuff that I use a lot. So yeah, this is how my workspace looks like. I um, I think it's more believable than the keeping it clean all the time. I mean, seriously, my space is never clean and this is the best it will ever look like. So um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was interesting to see and the cat is trying to tell you something even though she's camera shy. Yeah, I think she's warming up to you guys. <laughs> Also, this cutie here would like to remind you to like this video and uh, subscribe if you would like to see more videos about art and, well, not, not maybe not necessarily cats. Where did you go? Where are you? <laughs> so yeah, basically, <laughs> leave me a like, guys. It helps a lot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!